Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Mahesh Karya. You're watching me on YouTube now and in this session, I'm going to take you through WAP, the terminal for the 21st century. I do have terminal, but why do we need to install WAP, the another terminal? Uh, well, terminal is something that we have underestimated from past few couple of years and there are lots of plugins and lots of config that we need to write in order to make it actual terminal with kind of auto suggestion things with kind of AI things you need to have a terminal with all of this config and this is the solution for you guys this is still in beta okay they have launched their mac version already and they are planning to make it for browser in in on the top of uh wasm so let's deep dive into it and let's understand by the way they already got 23 million of funding okay and it's really very cool and uh there are official documentation if you want to integrate inside your any editor like vs code jetbrains ids you can directly integrate it and you can directly install it and discord community you can use if you want they have their official discord community and let me go and let me show you guys so this is the ui okay that you will get and you can uh, create multiple tabs if you want okay you can uh, create the windows like uh you can split your screen with uh, command plus t or command plus shift d in order to make uh the terminals like this okay and the super cool thing is you can use the command like any any commands you can write and just hit tab so you will get suggestion the command will start with ls like this uh l okay you will get this kind of suggestions uh while writing the commands first thing and once you do that after that you can like echo let me try this out let me use write command okay this is how i'm getting this okay now you can see these are the blocks okay and you can play around with this blocks actually let uh let's suppose if i want to search something inside this block so what i'll do i'll use command plus f uh here in order to search within a block like uh, ls i need to search so like this you can search uh, you can use you can bookmark this specific uh, thing you can use a uh, link of this thing okay to share with others so uh, click here you will get this public link just grab this thing paste this over here on your browser and you will see the same command that i have just used so that you can copy the snippet and play around with it if you want okay so this is the very first thing now if i go back and if i uh, use some other commands like uh, command plus let me open the session command plus p so you can choose your themes uh from here so i i really don't let me go back and let me use command plus p again open the theme and this would be my default theme for now okay uh command plus p again and here is the option control plus option control plus back tick uh using that you can like ask uh ask like which command you want to do like uh i need i want to reset my last commit and here we go so you got the suggestion like this so this is also really very super cool and uh, of course command uh, control plus r to like search i'm not sure i'm not getting it okay command shift p again uh to see the commands like this or you can use of course the up arrow in order to see your last commands like this so this is also really very super cool and uh, let's go again and let's see workflows is the super cool feature that you can play around with you can create your own yaml files create your workflows history search you can do here split we already uh, did this thing save and launch new one by the way to close this session let's say suppose i want to close this session so i'll use command plus w to close this one and uh, let me go back and let me see activate next tab let me see what okay i can open the new tab from here and let me go again add cursor and bunch of things that you can play around with so i'm not gonna deep dive into it but if you go here right hand side you will get this very beautiful suggestions okay that you can use and if you use control command plus r okay control shift plus r not sure uh 
yeah control shift plus r so you will get this very useful commands okay like add a mongodb resource to somewhere i'm not sure so like progress postways and bunch of multiple common commands that you will get from here let me try create a react app okay npx i'm not getting actually npx create nx at latest so create a new nx i need to install let's say docker specific commands uh docker ps copy file from one container to another remove all bunch of commands that we have that we can use by the way and show me here you can go to their official discord channel from this link uh, which is behind me i'm not able to show you guys sorry for that so go and play around with it this is super cool so this is it for this tutorial thank you so much all of you guys for being with me supporting me all the time it's been a pleasure to be here please let me know inside comment box what you want from my side definitely i'll make it for you and don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't already and smash that like button if you enjoyed see you soon in next video till then tada bye bye